Hey, what's up, me waters? Uh, so one gray area that we're going to talk about, raw dairy. Um, so the, big, the biggest issue with dairy, uh, and still with raw dairy in general, is that it has a lot of lactose, which is a sugar, and casein, which is protein, um, that are not so good for us, in a sense. The problem with lactose is digestibility, because um, evidence shows that after four years of age, we're no longer like really good at breaking it down. Um, and the problem with casein, that protein, is that it's... Uh, it's very similar in, in shape and form to gluten, which is a really nasty anti-nutrient, causes those autoimmune responses, among other things. 80% um, of the, the protein in milk, for example, is casein. Um, so how does raw help? Uh, enzymes are retained, which allow for better absorption of minerals and vitamins, and it has um, lactobacilli, which is a, a bacteria that helps you digest lactose, which is a gut irritant, and helps. It, and it also retains other enzymes, which help digest itself, including that casein, keep the pressure off your digestive system. So, if you eat, if you decide to eat dairy, keep it raw. Um, raw fermented, full fat dairy is best, such as cultured butter, yogurt, kefir, cheese, um, because it has that additional bacteria to help you digest. Um, raw high fat dairy, like raw butter and cream, is the next best because it doesn't have the lactose and casein. And then finally, try raw milk. Um, if you don't have raw, please, please, please make sure that it's at least organic hormone, antibiotic-free, and most importantly, full fat when you're reintroducing into your diet.